yeah, I'm definitely not consistent at all. Like, I'm not even going to lie, but I'm trying, right? Every day I got to work. I got to get this money so I can keep where I live. And some other stuff I still want to do. I do want to get, like, a mic. You know, I'm just still using my phone, just doing what I can, you know? So just bear with me. Plus, to be honest with you, it's just uh, I'm just trying to be inspired by Day by Day like content. I'm really not that inspired anymore. So much is just going on in this game. It's just kind of just boring, like... Skull Merchant more like Dull Merchant. The Knight more like the Bot. It's just really just been kind of meh, if you guys want to call it, for lack of a better word. But I did think of something I wanted to talk about today, and it's just going to be simple as me asking this question. Do you think it's easier for Killer to win their games or Survivors? Now, let me elaborate a little bit more on what I mean, right? So I recently did a video about killers or, or survivors having this expectation that you know a killer should you know farm with them especially if it's like a killer that they like that's popular like uh let's say ghostface you know people like to meme with him a bit uh let's say the pig you know people like to boop the snoop etc right myers they call him like i said daddy myers which i said in the last video i was not gonna say that again but i'm just obviously you know, i'm never calling him that like ever N never in life but I guess my thing is, is that I just feel like it's entitlement because at the end of the day, killer is what? Killer. They're supposed to do what? What their role is, which is to kill. Survivor is supposed to do what? Survive the best way you can. At least you can try to, right? But I just feel like when it comes to killer, killer really has that power dynamic to control the game on both sides. Because killer can literally decide to be like, you know what? I just want to farm. I just want to mess around. Or they can just be like, you know, what? I just want to try hard and just you know, mega sweat. And what do I mean by sweat? And, and it's crazy because I used to play NBA 2K and I used to be like, well, you know, people call you a try hard. And, you know, I'm like, well, why am I a try hard? I'm trying to win the game just like you. But this is the first game that I've ever played in my life where you, you can really sort of understand what that means. And what I mean is, is you can really sort of understand when, like, the fact that, okay, a killer can win at 3K, right? So let's say two people are dead already, right? And then let's say I'm on the ground. And then I'm death hook at this time too, right? Like I'm death hook. You can easily just put me on the hook, but you said, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to find the last survivor. Now, again, you already got two people out the game. So you're already at a 2K, right? And I'm death hook. I'm as, I'm as good as dead. All you have to do is just literally put me on the hook. Uh, I don't have a crazy build that makes it where you can't get to a hook. Uh, I didn't run any offerings that pretty much make it where hooks are not that you know close nearby. You can just throw me on the hook. Like you can just literally put me on the hook. No, though. No, you have to slug. Now, I don't want you to think that I'm complaining in this video. And if I was, I don't I don't give a F. But I just think that the fact that Killer knows they can just like stall the game to get that 4K because they want to go perfect. When it's just like at the end of the day, bro, just get me out of the game. Like I hate when, dude, I swear, like I hate when they do that. And I know they'll be like, why don't you just run this build? So that will run Unbreakable, run. And it's just like, I just feel like it's either you're trying to prove a point or you're just trying to get, you know, extra points. I get it to try to get everybody out the game. But you win at 3K. So that's what I kind of mean when I mean, like, kind of like you're trying to either be an annoying or you're trying to be a try hard or whatever. Because it's like you already win the game at 3K. Right? And I just feel like at the end of the day, I look at it like this. When it comes to Survivor, you have to work with other people. Dude, it are, I'm a part of this Facebook group. And I don't know why I entertain it. But it's just it's, it's a couple people who just they, they have this mentality. Oh well, the game originally was supposed to be every man for themselves, and and, and, and that may be true. Like I didn't start playing this game. I want to say until like 2020. But like literally, we have base mechanic healing animations to heal other teammates. In fact, it actually makes it faster when you do. We have a base mechanic where we can work on gens and progress it further when we work together on a gen. We have perks like prove that to help us you know speed up the gen faster you know we can unhook each other like this notion that we're not supposed to help out each other now i get it like now this is just me if you have a basement bubba who wants to you know you're running kendrick so you can reveal everyone hey do not come get me clearly bubba is right here you can see him i can understand why you will leave me behind i, I understand that completely right but at the same time like you know that the best way to try to do it is to try to help your teammate in fact that's really how you help pip too right that's it's called altruism that, that's one of the emblems that's one of the four emblems so when people try to act like oh you're not supposed to help each other out but then you want to compare it to swift well bro not everybody plays in the swift i don't have time to play in the swift 
I've been in my job, what, almost basically five months. I've never missed a shift. I'm not missing work over a DVD to play with friends. I'm not, I don't even have friends. So it's just me. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying, I know it's like somewhat of a rent video, but y'all know this is just how it goes, is that like, it's a little bit harder to win as Survivor when you're playing alone and then you're trying to play with three other randos. And listen, I know we have it now where we can see if people are on a gen, it should be no excuses. If you're not on a gen, you should be like, we can see whether you're in the, like in the chest, whether you're on a gen, rather you're healing someone. But it's even worse when you put on Kindred. When you on a hook and you put on Kendra, you literally, like, like it's, it's like dead eye shot. Like, you literally cannot hide. We clearly see that you're not doing nothing. And because we don't have the natural voice comms, we can't say, hey, man, can you? Because I just, listen, I'm going to tell you this now. As bad as I wish we had communication like that, more than just, you know, j you know pointing and gestures and stuff like that, we really cannot have that in this game. We really cannot have voice comms. Bro, could you imagine just like the most, like a lot of us would get kicked out of our apartments because I'd be so loud arguing with somebody. Like I used to play NBA 2K and we would have voice comms in there and like how loud I would be, I just know it would be exactly that. Imagine, like, like think about it, like to me the true killers are the survivors, like within each other because you have survivors that would sandbag each other. You have survivors that would, you know, point at you because, you know, you went down in 10 seconds, but you are high prestige. So there's no excuses, even though the game is RNG, there's only so much you can do. There's only so many pallets you have at your disposal, especially if people are just gonna run windows and just toss them down and just throw on every pallet, right? Could you imagine how things would be if you had girls that can talk in this game and just how cringe these players would be? I just think that this is, we cannot see that. I feel like that's the thing that people try to compare Call of Duty with is, oh, well, you know, if you think this is toxic, imagine Call of Duty. Well, Call of Duty have comms. Is, imagine if a killer bleeds you out what they will say or what she will say to you. Like, imagine what you would say to the killer. Like, it would be so much worse because this game really can only, can go one way or the other. And I just feel like when it comes to killer, they can really have this power to be like, you know what? I'm gonna take it easy today. I'm gonna chill. You know what? I could choose to tunnel you, but I'm not. I could choose to go after you, but I'm not. Or I, or I can choose to just go only after the high prestigious that's in our match, but I won't do that. Or they could just do that and just get you out of the game and really piss you off. And I just think that that's the thing that we're not understanding is that when it comes to survivors, there's only so much one good survivor I can do. I have close to 6,000 hours into this game, okay? And I'm a pretty good survivor. I know how to do everything. I know how to loop. I know how to do all, all the fancy stuff you can think of. I'm on console, by the way. I'm on PS4. I can do them all. I've done it about, I've ran killers for five gen, then escape or not escape, whatever. I've done it all. But I cannot singly, single-handedly carry a team to victory. I cannot. Killer alone, however, whether you are going against a Swift or not, it really depends. If you, are you going to be a smart killer and play for a three gen, or are you going to play like a bot and chase one good survivor all game, but you still have three other survivors hugging gens, right? Like, it, okay, check this out, right? I know this video is going to be long, but I really deserve. You guys deserve a long video anyway because I've just been really slow on uploads. Those who care to watch. When I'm at my job, okay, you no, know, I'll even compare it to this. When I was when I was at, you know, my old job at Panera, I used to work on a register and I used to do everything. I've been there two years, never missed a shift, and I had to work as a team. But I also had a buddy that worked on dishes. Let's say his role is like killer. He worked alone, right? Just like my role as survivor, you know, would be I would be me working on a register, me trying to coach people, help people, uh, help them, you know, make drinks, stuff like that. But it was always that one co-worker that just did not want to focus. And I wouldn't care if you weren't like if I didn't have to work with you, you know what I mean? If I worked around you, it's different, but I have to work with you. So things will slow me down. Fast forward to today, I'm a dishwasher at my job, right? It's how I make my living. Okay, I can work by myself. I can close by myself. I can take my break what I want, but also work around people who it takes three of them on register and make the pizza, etc. The reason I'm breaking this up is when they are working on the pizza line, they have to rely on each other. And when that one person decides to leave without saying anything and then there's only two people left it's like dude it's only so much you can do you need a, you need three people that's like on the pizza line and register versus me i am by myself what i'm saying is is that killer has this this unique ability to work alone right it's so nice to be able to work alone and decide what perks only you want to run dude i could bring a juicer build 
and it won't matter um, if if I got people not doing gins. I could bring an altruistic bills, but it won't matter if people keep dying every 10 to 15 seconds because they don't know how to loot. Or, okay, I bring me another juicer bill with windows, but then you just seeing every pallet just go to waste. It's just really pointless. So I'm not saying that killer role is easy necessarily because if you will, if you if you know what you're doing as killer and you know how to play, you know, for for the three gen stack or you are, you know, using blight or nurse or you know, whatever you're that you're using, and eventually you are going against good survivors and you're at your MMR, then yeah, they may make you work for it a little bit harder than you would against a team that's obviously solos, right? But so I'm not saying it's easy for you guys to win, but I'm saying is it's, it just is different when you have to rely on three other survivors as you are the fourth one, and you're trying to get your team to victory, and you can only run the killer for so long, and you go down, you look up, and no one's on gens. Okay, you have to keep healing people. People keep trying to heal and cleanse against a plague. I don't understand the logic. The plague is just gonna infect you. She's basically a basic or M1 killer all game if you never cleanse but then again that will require survivors actually understanding how to loop and chain loops and run and kill it but that will also require people to be on generators at the same time versus killer roles all they have to do is just worry about themselves oh i got no it at the end in case of i i'm not doing well in chases oh i can just you know kick a generator and regress it oh i can just camp and tunnel and just sit here and you know, likely we're going to have overly altruistic survivors come through and just try to go for the save. And then that's how I can just farm for my kills. But I'm sorry if I make this video too long. Uh, like I said, it's just been a while since I uploaded, but I just wanted to basically make my point. So let me just restate my camp for this video before I end it. And I appreciate those who stuck around. If you have anything to say in the comments, please let me know. And, you know, just be respectful. Even if you disagree with me, it's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. I like having these debate and discussions. Do you guys think this game it's easier for killers to win or for survivors. Again, for me, I think both sides take some time. It's RNG at the end of the day, so there's only so much you can do as killer or survivors. Not every killer is gonna be on an awesome map for them. Not every survivor is gonna be with awesome teammates. But I will say this, I just think that as killer, killer have a unique ability. Yes, they are alone, but they have this ability to be able to have just themselves to worry about, and that's it, versus you trying to carry everything like all killer had to do is just kill survivors that's it like if you think about it killer don't even have to really kick gens as much yeah you can regress it but it, you know all you really have to do is just chase survivors away and slug them and down them and then that's it and hoping that they make mistakes although i will say this killers can't it can't make too many mistakes but i just think that main killer mistakes i feel is that they chase one survivor all day and they're not trying to protect their three gen or maybe you have a killer that's not really good at defending through gens, or maybe you're just on a bad map. But survivors, I just feel like it's so much more mistakes that are less in your control. Killers have more of a chance to control their mistakes. They just have to just understand what they need to do and not need to do versus me trying to communicate or hoping I'm, I'm with a team that understands what they need to be doing and just be where they need to be and stuff like that. But hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys for listening to this long rant video. And uh, yeah, um, have a good day. Stay safe, stay grinding, and peace.